Welcome to a very close look to the Master Pro Series 1178 four-wheel combination padlock. This lock was given to me by WDE in a recent package and I always wanted to have one of these. So buddy, thank you very much for giving this lock to me. The internal mechanism of this lock is different to what you might know from a well-known Master 178 or similar. Here the internals cannot be tensioned by pulling on the shackle, but the lock is susceptible for the knife attack, for the decoding knife attack. So this lock is currently locked up, but if you manage to slide in your thin piece of metal on the side of the wheel and wiggle it in, just like so, then you release tension on the mechanism, lift the internal lever and the lock is open. So that's how easy it is, but you need a specialized tool for that. The Master Pro Series 1178 is not susceptible for the, to the knife attack, but you can tension internals by pulling on the shackle. So this is more similar to a lock like this, where you can pull on the shackle and feel resistance on the wheels. So let's see. The lock is currently in the unlocked state and I think you can change the combination by pushing down the shackle at 180 degrees. So, oh no, it doesn't work. I think I have to figure out how to change the code actually. <laughs> um, yeah, wait a second. So in order to change the code you have to pull out the shackle, turn it at 90 degree, push it down and then turn it at 180 degree and now you can change the code. The thing here, this plastic cover is just in the way so I put it aside. Yeah, you can now change the code. Um, turning it one way stops at zero, not this way, the other way. Yeah, turning it this way lets all wheels stop at zero. That's not what we want, we don't want to install this code. So I turn it in the other direction to install a new random code. This should do the trick. Pull out the shackle again, close the lock and shuffle the wheels. Let's turn them all to zero. All right, so now we have installed a new code and we can start decoding. We have to pull on the shackle, of course, and then see what the wheels say. I can tell you that there are false gates in this lock, but you can easily distinguish true from false gates. First, we change the position of all wheels until every wheel gets stuck at a number and cannot be turned away easily. So, like like so. Now we have to distinguish true from false gate and this can be done by moving the wheel left and right from the current position. You have to pull quite firmly on the shackle to cause an effect on the wheels, but the effect is um, really good visible. So let's see. I think 6 is a true gate. It's turning relatively far left and right from the current position. One, I'm not quite sure, but it's, ah, it's actually loose, so we have to find a better position. Three is, hmm, I'll keep three, but zero is quite tight, so let's move it by one. It's still tight. Move it to two. Ah, that's pretty loose, so this is a true gate. Ah, that's tight. Oops, turned it too far. But let's continue. Four, five, six. It's also not free. How about seven? Seven is pretty loose, so seven is good. Two is good. Then three must be wrong, of course. Yeah, otherwise it would have been already opened, so let's see. 
five is pretty loose. And the last wheel. Okay. We've got three, pretty tight. Four, tight, five, and the lock is open. So it's not a big deal if you pull hard enough on the shackle. You can see, maybe you can see an indentation here on my finger. Ah, yeah, here you can see it from pulling on the shackle. But if you manage to do so, you can easily distinguish between true and false gates on these wheels, and the lock will open well without any further trouble. All right, so BDE, thank you very much for sending this luck to me. It was great fun for me to um, huh, yeah, play with it. And uh, yeah, everybody else, thank you very much for watching. And until we meet again, happy picking and decoding. Cheers and bye-bye. <laughs>